Hello. Thank you so much for talking with me today. It's Carissa Pavlika, TV fanatic. You've got such wonderful shades of green around you. Now it's fake. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Matthew, your performance as Robert Evans was mesmerizing. How long did it take you to find Robert Evans in you? Um, oh, this would be, this, let me answer, because I've had this question a bit, not, no one said it as nice as you. So it took a, it took a while and it took a while <laughs> to get the confidence up. But I was so desperate to do the job, and so I'm so um, in awe of the fact that someone had decided to give it to me. Um, so there was a lot of YouTube and everything else, but really and truly, there was a there was a speech, and I haven't said this to anyone. There was a speech in episode six, which is like a three pager, and so I I used that. I went over it and over it and over it just to try to get. He has a funny cadence and an interesting timbre, and so it was it was like watching something and then trying to put it into this, and we've done, and it was just very repetitive. And then, and Dexter Fletcher really gave me, who, who directed episodes one and two and was an executive producer, he gave me the confidence that I could do it, which I didn't know was there really until the first day I started filming with him. And then he just, then he unleashed, he unleashed Evans. <laughs> and so it just ended up being a joyous job for me. And that job that I think I needed as far as my own confidence. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Great. No, Shut no, up. I no. it was, <laughs> there was often times, honestly, where, I was lucky enough to work with Matthew, you know, quite a lot, a lot. A lot. And there were definitely times where I would forget my own lines because I would be watching Robert do his thing. You don't get that many Thank times. You. It was it was um, wonderful, really great. Yeah. And, and a, lot of, a lot of other times where he'd say, are you really going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> and Burn, what was... You know, what was your reasoning for playing this part? You've been in a lot of prestige television. So I was just curious what brought you here. It was a, a real opportunity to play somebody who um, doesn't live in the in the black or white, but is in, in the gray areas of life. You know, you could look at Charlie and say he was a, a despot, um, Napoleonic tendencies, or you could look at the story that, the true story that he's an immigrant came to America with nothing essentially is the epitome of the American dream was somebody driven by passion and was known as the last romantic businessman, you know, in Hollywood. And um, it was a wonderful sort of opportunity really given to me by Dexter and Nikki and yes. the whole of the team at Paramount. Um, it was just one of those jobs that you, you can't say no to, you know. And do you know what? I'm thinking about it. I think he, he comes away with, this, with one of the biggest arc changes and still maintains this incredible air of mystery. Okay. But out of all the characters in the entire thing, I think he's still the most elusive. Great. Yeah. Well, that was my intent. <laughs> <laughs> it is a real pleasure. Real pleasure. We lucked out. We really lucked yeah. out. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Is there anything you would have done differently, Matthew? That now that you've seen some of your well, Burn, with Burns' performance. <laughs> I would have I would, okay, I, either of your performances of playing against each other. You go for it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Later, Harrison. Would I, anything I could have done different? I wish I could have enjoyed it more for the first few weeks when I was terrified. <laughs> um, but all in all, cigarettes. all in all, I think, I think what I would the only thing that different would I would, would I would have been I would have the power to take away COVID because it was quite a. It was a very lonely experience. It was so great to be on set. Maybe that's why there's so much energy on set was because we go to set and then I go home and I'd be on my own in the hotel because that's those were the sort of restrictions we were under. Yeah. But apart from that, I wouldn't change the thing because the work was great. It was just the loneliness of the long distance actor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. And both of you did a great job. And I thank you so much for talking with me today. It's a pleasure. And it doesn't look fake. It. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>